Hey everybody, Tony here with Nothing But Car Reviews and today we're taking a look at a pre-owned high mileage 2013 Chevrolet Volt. So let's get right into it. So this color here is going to be the Summit White, just your plain white. And then the interior is going to consist of black cloth. Our powertrain is going to be a 1.4 liter naturally aspirated four cylinder, made it with an electric powertrain and a one speed automatic transmission. And that gets you about 149 horsepower. But we'll test that out on the test drive. And as you can see, there's our back end there, which I've always kind of liked the volts. Just the overall design. I love the tail lights, overall body lines and all that. And pretty good cargo space. But as we come around to the side here, we have passive keyless entry on all four doors. And then we have our charging port here. Let's get a close-up of that, I'll pop it open. So that's where you charge that battery. And you're supposed to get 38 miles on a full charge. But this one with about 189,000 miles only has about 18 miles on a full charge after the battery degradation. But down there we have the 17-inch aluminum wheels. And then as we come around to the front here, we have our halogen headlamps. And then we can just see with this being an older car, paint defect here. A little touch up should fix that though. Well, let's go ahead and pop this hood. And there it's mostly covered up, but there's that 1.4 liter. And then we have the battery and all that over here. But next, let's go ahead and hop in the driver's seat. So from the driver's seat here, actually, let me go ahead and turn this fan speed down. It's a pretty good ride quality for such a small car in terms of just overall space. I have about half an inch to an inch of headroom here. And then the seat is actually wide enough to fit my bigger stature, which is nice. And then I can still slide my knees underneath the steering wheel here. But really good driving position here. And the roof is just a little bit low, but we'll see that on the test drive as well. Going over here to the door panel, we have our power window latches here, and then we have our power mirror controls, and then of course the door handle. And I really like how futuristic this is, even in 2013, how they did the nice silver pair with the black there. And then we have a little just slot in here for a cup and then additional storage there. So I really like how they did that. And then over here, we can go through our gauge cluster and configure all of that by scrolling that knob there. And the actual steering wheel itself, very impressed, even though it's kind of that vinyl, how it hasn't worn completely. And then we have our cruise controls over here, voice recognition, Bluetooth controls over here, and then volume, and then track list or radio station favorites there. We have our headlamp controls, blinker, windshield wipers, and then this one has a check engine light on. It's puttering just a little bit, but we'll see if we can test it on the test drive as well. Well, let's get a view from the passenger seat. So both of these seats are manual, as you can see, but you can pretty much get a good driving position. At least personally, I can. Like I said, I'm 6'3", and that's not an issue for me. But I really like how firm the seats are. They're, I think they're kind of... Uh, meant to be some kind of eco cloth or whatever but even though they're firm they're still they have really good positioning to hold you up and i really like that about the seats and this one small glove compartment but it's able to hold your manuals and probably your insurance cards or whatever a few napkins but let's check out this radio here so we have am fm and xm radio along with bluetooth audio and we also have Pandora, and then we even have a CD drive, a USB, aux, all of that, so that's nice. And then when you have the weather app hooked up with your XM, you can pull that up, and then you can have movies, check out gas prices, and then my favorite thing is the energy, so it'll show you how much you're using, the efficiency, average fuel economy and all that and then it even gives you 
tips on how to drive more efficiently. And then we can pull up the climate controls here, set all of that, and then we also have a few buttons here. So if you wanna adjust your fan speed and then your temperature, you can do that. And we have single zone automatic climate controls for the AC. There's the home button there. And then no backup camera on this one. But this here will pull up that energy info I was talking about earlier. And then this button here is how you actually toggle through your four drive modes. So you have normal, sport, mountain, and hold, which we'll try to demonstrate all of those on the drive. And then power door lock controls here, electronic parking brake, pull up to engage, and then press down to disengage. And then there's our push button start there. And for our shifter, there's a big button behind, and you just pull down, reverse, neutral, drive, and then low mode. And then cup holders here, and there's our key fob there. And then here we have our center console cubby space. We have a 12 volt, and then that aux input, and that USB input right there. But next, let's go ahead and take a look at the back seat. So as you can see, I really can't get behind this seat here. I'm 6'3", and this is the seat adjusted for someone of my size, which won't be a problem for me. Just having, um, most people are getting these to be commuters and all that, but if someone a little shorter was up front, that's kind of the space you'd have there, which isn't bad. But we have cup holders here, another 12 volt port here, which I like to have another 12 volt because you can put one of those inverters there and then plug in a laptop or something. And then you have storage in here, storage, little storage here. And then finally, let's just take a look at that room back there. And that's how the storage goes through, which I really like because you can fit longer objects just straight through without having to fold a seat down or something like that. But with all that being said, I think it's time we go ahead and take this 13 volt out on the road for a quick test drive. 